Hey, good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the latest. Reading Royals are cruising high as they try to aim to clinch the division now after clinching the playoffs. Royal take as you look at a great run by our Royals that only had one loss of late, which was in an overtime loss to the Trois Rivières Lions after taking the first two, and of course, beating Wooster in the final Sunday game when they should have been the most gas. They weren't, and they beat them 4 to 1. And then in Trois Rivières on Friday, April Fool's Day, it wasn't April Fool's. The Royals won 5 to 1 on a great play by Dechara, great play by Ebbing, great pass from Ebbing to Hausinger, Braden Lowe having a nice goal in front, and then Brendan Sonia having a nice goal cutting to the net in his first game with the Royals, where we will be coming back to Sonia in this video very soon. And then on Saturday, you had Grant Cooper, who's one of those guys Kirk McDonald's talked about it in post game pressures, does it all block shot gets in the lanes, anticipator guy or that does all the small things. It's great to see him get goals in back-to-back -back games. And see, of course, that's a lead in. We will get back to him soon. Gagnon, who also won a fight later in that game. Um, or maybe that was Sunday's game. The games kind of run together when it's a 3-3. Three and three. But uh, Gagnon also won a fight against us on the weekend. But we took the cards, took five or six points, and that's what matters the most, right? So Dechara and Grant Cooper are the two goals in that game. Sunday... The third in Trois Rivières before we get to the Anaranda game. That's when Cooper scored. Dominic Cormier scored his first in his return from Laval. And then Brendan Saunier scored another. So now <clears throat> into um, Wednesday's game, yesterday's game, which had some bumps in the road, as Kirk McDonald said. They played just well enough to win, but Kevin Conley, beautiful sniper, a great. Um, also, patience from Kevin Conley later in the game to get an assist to Mason Millman, uh, which was the third goal. Patrick Bykoff then had the fourth goal and the second goal, having another two-goal, multi-goal game for the sniper Bykoff, who Kirk McDonald pointed out very smartly in the post-game presser. He's also a guy that plays with a little bit extra funk in his game as well and will block shots and hit guys a little bit and doesn't really get credit for that because skill guys sometimes get considered more soft, which is not really the case because there's a lot of skill guys, <clears throat> Nathan McKinnon, in the NHL that are definitely the opposite of that. So that's kind of the way that I look at that. And then Shane Harper, they get they just gave him an opportunity. It is what it is, but what I took from the recent games was the power play has looked a lot better. Obviously, there was a goal from Deshara, there was goals from Conley, etc., but the puck movement, the cycling, it's looked a lot better of late. They added in Kirk Cup, that adds a lot more skill. You added in Sony, that adds a lot more skill, and you bring in Conley, that adds a lot more skill. So this team already had good skill mixed with Jam, mixed with Funk, and Conley brings both of those things. Uh, Kirk Cup brings both of those things. I don't know what's going on with Seller right now, but he did bring both of those things. And then Cooper brings everything and does all the small things. Isn't the biggest score she got, but I think has that coming more to him. And maybe this is it coming, and that would be huge if it's coming at the end of the season, his scoring touch even more. That was kind of anticipated by some to show up. So I think this team is heading, obviously, we already couldn't suppose, but they're heading directly in the right direction. And Logan Flodell was a masterpiece of a goaltender as well. Great pickup. Peyton Hawkey's a great goaltender. And then Kirill Ustamenko, when he comes back down as well as Pat Nagel, potentially, they're going to be great guys as well. And then Stromer is able to play down here as well as others as well that I'll get into in later videos once the Phantoms are out. But their season also ends, keep in mind, the 30th. So it'll depend when they're even willing to give those guys to the Reading Royals to play. Sonny was more, he became an on-man out. The Phantoms are not performing like he did last year, so he became available for the Royals, which is a blessing for the Royals because he's a great ECHL player that can fight anybody, smaller guy that plays with a lot of physicality, but also can score and has a great shot and a great net from presence, especially at the ECHL level, top six talent. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take as the Reading Royals are cruising high as they aim to clinch the division now, as I think it's 11 points needed. That's uh, what it is um, to clinch, if I remember correctly from what Kirk McDonald said. So, there's obviously a lot ahead for the Royals that they still got to accomplish, but they're playing the main Mariners in a 3 of 3 this weekend, so that's where they're going to start. I will preview that 3 of 3 tomorrow. The next edition of the Royal Take, this has been the latest edition of the Royal Take, as you recap the last handful of four games. As our Reading Royals have been great, and the, against Trois Rivières, they went 3 um, uh, excuse me, they got five out of six points and got a point in all three games. But after beating Wooster when they should have been the most tired, they played their best game on the 27th on that Sunday against Wooster. And then on Wednesday, the 6th, take down Adirondack, not in the prettiest, sexiest game, but they still win, and that's all that matters in the end. 
Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 230 or more or even 250. That'd be great by the end of April to keep this channel growing. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.